Well, as I was researching this letter, we needed, of course, more information, and so I wrote an email to Abby, and she was very forthcoming about the letter and about the family, and, and that helped. And then I did additional research in Whitman's notebooks and found a passage where he actually discusses Albion Hubbard and his age and what condition he is in, and, and then uh, notes that uh, he died eight days after Whitman wrote this letter for him. I've been working with Whitman's manuscripts for 30 years or so, and so I feel as if I can recognize his handwriting the way I can recognize my mother's handwriting. So it's uh, very familiar, and it is very clear. Um, he worked in government offices in Washington, D.C., along with other scribes, and I've looked at record books that have his writing and the letters of other scribes, and his stands out as being remarkably clear, easy to read. And, and you know, quite beautiful, actually. On the project I'm working on, the Whitman Archive, we just added a new section to accommodate letters like this one that Abby has, and it's called um, Letters Written for Soldiers, and we have five of them now. So this is one where it's about a, a soldier who is in the final stages of illness, and three of the five letters uh, are like that, because three of the five letters Whitman wrote for the soldiers that have survived and that we've located are of, of dying men, unfortunately. He started um, very end of 1862, really in a serious fashion at the beginning of 1863, and then through the end of the war, uh, continued to do it, and even continued it after the war, because we sometimes forget that, you know, when the war ends, the hospitals don't close, the, the injured and dying are still there. He continued for at least a year and a half after the war, visiting uh, wounded. Whitman uh, indicated in Specimen Days that he wrote dozens, maybe even hundreds of these letters, but very few of them have been located. So there's only five letters like this that are known, and we've presented all of them on the Walt Whitman Archive.